first of all, I had had um, an incident where I slipped and fell on ice, fractured my right hip. And I am a widow and live alone. And therefore, I don't have anyone to look after me. We did check out four other places. And it was when I entered the building at River Path, there was such an aura of happiness, cheerfulness, friendliness, and I thought, I think I could live here. But I tried a trial of two weeks to make sure that this was indeed the place I wanted to be. And as a result, I was able to join in with activities, meet a lot of people. As a matter of fact, many of them came up to me and they said, you've only been here two weeks and you know everybody. I was fortunate that I had the background that had taught me to approach people and be a people person. And coming back, I wasn't the least bit hesitant about it. We care for each other, we worry about each other, we check off on each other. It's, it's a nice feeling. After having been alone, gone through COVID alone, it made a very big difference to me to have that secure feeling. I been interested in their lives. You find that people, once you get to know them, are very interesting. New people, I've taken them under my wing and introduced them to other people, introduced them to the activities, taken them into the activities so that they don't feel alone. I've offered my services in the gift shop, so I now man the gift shop when I can, when the opportunity arises, and I'm chief decorator. <laughs> So we're just getting decorated for fall and Halloween at the moment. Um, so that's been fun. And it's another opportunity to meet people. I'm convinced that we made the right choice.